Good morning guys! So I realized that I forgot to update you on that egg situation a couple days ago. I think it was Sunday. Yeah, it was Sunday. I put an egg in Christian's coffee filter holder thingy and he actually did discover it because he went to clean it out that night. I wasn't sure because he doesn't have coffee on weekdays anymore because he works and so he just doesn't really have time to finish off all the coffee so he only has it on weekends. So I, I stuck my little Easter egg with the bunny drawn on it in there and uh, I was like, oh crap, maybe he won't notice it. But he did go to clean it out Sunday night and he found it. So it was kind of silly. I don't know. I thought it was funny. <laughs> so today I'm wearing my kitty necklace again and it kind of matches because of this shirt. Although the shirt's more on the blue side and this is a little bit more on the green side, but I think it just looks really cute together. And I mentioned this briefly in yesterday's vlog, but I was on my way out of the building. So I kind of just said it in passing. But um, when I last weighed myself, I had lost a full five pounds already, but that's mostly, most likely mostly water weight because it's always easiest to lose the first few pounds because you're just losing excess water. But I am able to buckle up my belt a notch tighter and that's the only difference that I feel physically. I was actually scared that once I stepped on the scale I'd weigh more because I hadn't had a chance to get groceries. So we, we were stuck with all the unhealthy stuff we had previously and so I was trying to eat healthier but it was kind of limited. But uh, yeah, I still lost some weight, so that's awesome. And now we have a bunch more good groceries, so that's exciting. And so tonight I'm gonna make those tacos that I was gonna make last night, but I couldn't because we went to a movie instead. So I'm gonna make those tacos tonight, and that's a pretty healthy meal. And clean, do a lot of cleaning tonight, so that's my plan. So just a word about these gummy dinosaurs Christian picked up for me. Well, he bought me a ton, like I still have this much left, and I ate, like together we ate, probably less than this at the movie. Like maybe that much, which is still quite a bit, and I still have this much left. But what sucks is you notice something about these gummy dinosaurs. There's no red ones, okay? But uh, basically, he handed me the bag of gummy dinosaurs I look at it, and I was like, what the hell, Christian? There's only one red dinosaur in here. And he was like, well, I was kind of in a rush and was had my mind on other things. And I was just like, okay, like, I'm not gonna get mad at him over a gummy dinosaurs, but I was just bummed because red's my favorite and there's only one red one and like a bajillion other ones. So I was really kind of sad about that, but still better than nothing. Bunny, he's still chilling in the garbage. Oh, it's so sad throwing him away. Anyway, I'm off to work, so I'll see you guys on the flip side. Ah. Hey guys, it's actually really hot. I'm gonna go outside maybe and start vlogging really warm in here. So this morning I went to the post office to mail the giveaway winner prizes and it cost $50 to mail the three packages which isn't too bad but it's still kind of expensive because I put everything in envelopes but because they were thick enough and heavy enough they cost more than when I normally send an envelope which I knew would happen. But it's really weird because I went to ship the international package and they said it'd be $36 and I said well is there a cheaper option and she said well if you ship by ground it's only 17 something. So I was like, okay, let's do that. Because they're getting stuff for free so they can wait a bit longer to receive it. And then for packages to the US, it was gonna be $16. And I was like, oh, well, is there a cheaper option for that, those ones too? And they're like, no, we canceled ground, or they discontinued ground shipping to the United States. And I was like, how does that work? They don't do ground shipping to the United States anymore, but they do ground shipping overseas. How does that even work? But I was like, whatever. It was. It was fine, I was just really confused, like, oh, okay, no ground shipping to the United States, which is connected by ground, but you can do ground shipping across overseas. It's gonna go in an airplane at some point anyways, but whatever, I was fine with it. I just thought that was a little weird. So it was like the same price, always like only $1 more to send an international package than it was to send a US package, which is not bad at all. Although it's different shipping options. But uh, so yeah, I got those out. Those are good to go, going to the winners. Uh, what else is new? Work was pretty normal, but then at one point, like, okay, I don't talk about work a lot because, well, there's usually not nothing that exciting that happens, and I can't discuss the project with you guys. I know some people ask me about work, but you need to know that anyone who works in the film or animation industry signs what's called an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, which means you're not allowed to talk about the project because it has to stay secret. You don't want spoilers coming out before it's released. And I actually did not sign an NDA, but it was kind, there's a similar thing in my contract 
that was related to that, although I did not sign an NDA specifically. But that's why I don't talk about the project, is because you're not supposed to. So, <laughs> but I did, okay, I'm just gonna make sure this is still recording. Okay, it is. I was like, maybe I didn't push the record button when I sat down. But I'm gonna talk a little bit about work today. Because my coworker was like, do you ever talk about work on your vlogs? And I was like, not really, because there's not much to say, but I will say one thing. Um, I was actually, I stayed half an hour late today, me and this other girl, because we met with our boss to kind of discuss animation deadlines. Because we're a small studio, and so we can just go straight to the CEO and be like, because he's our direct superior, <laughs> we can be like, so this is gonna, like, this isn't doable because basically we set up a system where we rated shots based on difficulty. So a shot that was rated a one was the hardest shot and then a two was kind of medium difficulty and three was easiest. And he said, okay, so for the one shots, you have, can, you have to do five seconds a week. For two shots, it's 15 seconds a week. And then for the three shots, it's 30 seconds a week. And, um, so I was like, hey, yeah, that sounds doable. But then he was assigning this shot to my coworker and said it should, or he was assigning an entire scene and said it should take her six days. And I was like, wait, that doesn't add up because that's a hundred seconds. That scene was a hundred seconds long. And so that does not work. So I did all the math and calculated it all out. I was like, oh, it should take her seven and a half weeks, not six days. <laughs> so I like emailed my boss telling him all this and he's all like, so then he had to have a meeting with us to like discuss it but it was cool because we came to kind of an agreement where I was like you thought you were using your metrics properly but you weren't like this is how the math should have been done like this is how long it should take and he's like well it can't take that long and I said okay well we came to an agreement where basically we get to pick our own scenes now which is awesome because most studios you wouldn't and that's originally how it was going to be was we were going to pick our own scenes but um, because we're animators and he's not we better understand what makes the shot difficult and what doesn't so that's so cool we get to pick our own scenes now and like entire scenes we're not doing individual shots it's like here you get this entire scene so it's kind of cool but kind of scary at the same time because this is not for a tv show by the way this is for a movie and it's gonna be in theaters so it can't just be like crappy animation that's why i was like to my boss I was like we can't operate at like 70 seconds a week that's impossible <laughs> so yeah, it was cool. We came to agree we get to pick our own shots and we're gonna slow things down a bit, especially because he wants to hire more animators. So I'm just like, if you're hiring more people, we do not need to animate this fast. <laughs> this is torture. <laughs> it's gonna look so bad. So yeah, it was cool because came to an agreement. I feel a lot better about things now. Um, it's still kind of like a gray zone. I think we'll still be pushed to go faster, but based on the amount of minutes he wants done, I was like, Here's the math, we don't need to go this fast. <laughs> so, got things sorted out, I feel less stressed. So yeah, I'm just home kinda late though. So, I'm confused, cause I was gonna make tacos, but it's also the workout day. So, I gotta pick and choose. Do I wanna cook supper or do I wanna go work out? And I also need to do a bunch of cleaning. Oh no! This is life, things happen. When you put yourself in a tight schedule, you never have enough time to do it all. All right, progress on tacos. I want hard shells, Christian wants soft shells, so we have both. Here's salsa, but I can't get the lid open, so Christian's gonna have to get it for me. And then sour cream, and this. I usually don't put sour cream on my tacos, but I just have this left over from that Mexican layer dip I made, and it's best before today, so we might as well use some of it before we throw it out. Probably grated too much cheese, because I'm gonna have very little amount of cheese on mine. It's all about these veggies and the salsa. Mmm, the salsa. So I'm super excited for this. And the meat is just cooking over here. It's 7.30, so Christian should be back relatively soon because it's pretty much done. The meat's done cooking, so it's good to eat whenever. Woohoo! Are you gonna use any sour cream? Because I didn't, like I normally don't, but we no. had it. <laughs> we just have it, so I was like, well, I might as well put it out, but I didn't even use any of it. Guys, I feel really bad for my mom. She just texted me and I guess she crashed my stepdad's car and it's totaled. She must have, man, I guess she rear-ended someone, but she must have got him good because this is what the car looks like. If it'll focus. Sorry, mom, if you're watching this, I don't mean to humiliate you. I just, I just, I need to have record of this on video. <laughs> and then airbags even deployed, windshield smashed. That is so sad, the poor car. <laughs> I've driven that car quite a few times. It's, it's kind of sad, but 
I don't think anyone was hurt. I'm just waiting for her to get back to me. I was like, are you okay? Like, I'm assuming she's okay, or otherwise she probably would have said something, but yeah, that's so sucky. So yeah, she says she's okay. She's just shooken up at first, and I mean, no doubt, she <laughs> hit hard enough that the airbags deployed, so come on. <laughs> and today's the day her present was supposed to be delivered because I got guaranteed two-day shipping, so if it doesn't arrive in two days, they have to refund the money. So it should have been, um, delivered like it wouldn't have been delivered to the door it would she'd have a notification in her mailbox saying she can pick it up but obviously she couldn't get that today because she had to get driven home by a police officer because she didn't have her car so tomorrow she'll get her present though so hopefully that'll cheer her up a little bit get her birthday present so yeah oh my god i just realized i was so preoccupied with getting the taco started and vlogging that I forgot I had a package in the mail. Where did they? Oh, there it is. Awesome. So, got this little package, and I know what this is. This is my adapter for my monitor, so I can now use my actual monitor instead of using my Cintiq as a monitor. And it ships super fast because I ordered it from some place that ships from Richmond, which is part of Metro Vancouver. Because there's like the city of Vancouver, and then there's Metro Vancouver, which includes all the surrounding cities, because it's basically one giant city here. Yay, my converter. Display port to HDMI. Yeah. So, success with the monitor. Yay. So, I don't know what I'm going to do in terms of monitor placement because I'm still waiting on that Ergotron arm. That's going to change things, but this is how I had it set up on my old place was Cintiq on the left because I'm left-handed, then it's easier to reach the keyboard with my right hand, which can kind of sit in between the two screens. But the main screen is the one that sits on this side. I don't want my Cintiq to be my main screen. I want that to be my main screen and then I only turn this on when I want dual monitors or when I want to use it. So I kind of want the Cintiq on that side, but that's going to totally mess me up because I'm left-handed and then I can't reach the keyboard properly. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I need to delete a lot of videos off here. These are all my unboxing, doll unboxing videos that I have yet to edit. <sighs> Anyway, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for that arm to come and just kind of decide what I want to do in terms of placement. I think the Cintiq is just going to have to go on the other side. And then I can kind of pull it in front of me when I'm using it as a Cintiq, like as a tablet. But if I'm just using it as a monitor, it's fine to stay on that side, I think. So, yet is my plan. I'm just excited. I finally have my freaking adapter so I can have my normal monitor back. Yay! So yeah, here is the problem with my adapter this piece got pulled too much and I just wrecked it and the reason is there's these teeth on the bottom so there's this one here this one got stuck inside for me yanking it at once because this one used it like it wouldn't retract when you push this button only the one side retracted and so it was impossible to pull this adapter out of the computer because the tooth would not retract and that's why it got wrecked is because I had to try and shimmy it out and it ended up pulling on this and it just like, weakened it over time and eventually got to the point where it stopped working altogether. so this guy's trash and I actually have another one coming in the mail like a cheap one from China so uh, it'll be a backup for the one I have currently nice my nails were perfectly unchipped this morning and look at them now and this hand's bad too and it's bad because I'm filming my pendant video I was trying to fill in the gaps but it's not gonna look as good great Something's in my eye and I can't get it out of me. Hurts. <laughs> Anyways, everything's nice and clean except for my desk. I'm still kind of tidying this up. Although some of the stuff is staying out because I'm working on my pendants. But it still needs a bit more tidying up. But I've got vacuumed and bathrooms clean and dishes are done and everything is lovely. Last thing I gotta do is package an online order. And then I'm just gonna be editing the vlog. So. Not much else to see tonight, so thanks for watching you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. I think my only option is to quickly scarf down some cereal, <laughs> because I really, I need to leave now. I don't even have time for cereal. I need something I can eat on the go, but there's nothing, so I'll try to eat this real quick. This movie is also going to really mess up my vlog, because by the time we get back, it's going to be super late, and I'm going to have to edit right away, but I won't have filmed anything, so I'm going to be 